Hey there, welcome back. And how do I add articles to my Drupal site? Let me show you how. Um, remember, if you remember from the last screencast, I mentioned that there's lots of different paths to the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Add Content button here because that's pretty quick. And I want to add an article because I was actually thinking about um, adding, say, uh, let's say, a, let's pretend that we're making a band website and we'd like to add some sort of a blog post or a news item stating that we just hired a new guitarist. Okay. So I think that's time sensitive. You know, it's relevant now. It's not going to be hot news, say, a year from now. Um, so I'm going to use the article content type to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on article. And if you saw the last screencast, you probably remember that when we go to add new content, you get this form to fill out. And if you remember from last time, we used, we added a basic page last time. This time we're adding an article and the form looks a little different. Okay. Um, yes, it's still asking us for a title. So let's get started with that. Okay. Um, welcome. I'm going to say Jane Smith, um, our new guitarist. There we go. And, uh, and so that's fine. That's going to be the title for our article. We can change that if we want to, but that's good enough. Um, and so now, what's this tags thing? Okay, tags is just a, a word. You've probably seen this on different websites. A tag is just a word that, that or several words that you would use to describe your content. We're going to talk a lot more about tags uh, and taxonomies and what the heck taxonomy means. We're going to talk a lot more about that in a future screencast because um, there's actually a lot of really cool, really useful things that you can do with that. Um, so f for now, I'm going to just write a couple. I'm going to choose a a couple tags and they might seem a little arbitrary but we'll come back to this and I'll and at a future point and I'll, I'll dive a little deeper so that I can explain to you you know the concept of tags and why they're useful and how to use them properly but for now well how about we just do something like um, uh, band news um, uh, let's put uh, Jane Smith's name and uh, guitar. Okay, there we go. And uh, so those are going to be my three tags. And each of your tags have to be comma separated. Okay, that means that band news will be treated as one tag as opposed to the to the words band and news. Okay. Um, and so that's and that's going to describe my content here. Now I have to admit I don't mean to be lazy here, but I'm not going to write an entire article about Jane and uh, you know Jane Smith or new guitarists. So instead, I'm just going to rely on our trusty little Laura Mipsum generator to generate. The this, this information or this content automatically. It's just dummy content while we're practicing. And here we go. We actually have a choice. We can actually upload an image here. Hey, we didn't have that option in the last in the last page, did we? We didn't have the image, uh, the option to add an image to um, to to our um, uh, to our basic page. Now. That doesn't mean you can't add images to basic pages. I will show you in the future how you can do that. But by default, Drupal assumes that your basic pages aren't going to have images attached to them and your articles might have images attached to them. Where are we going to find this image? Well, I'm just going to go online. Here we go. Images.google.com. And let's just find an image. Um, let's go uh, rock guitarist. Uh, or actually, how about just guitar? Guitar, electric guitar, yeah, electric guitar. Yeah, I know it's taking me a while. Okay, cool. And I'm going to find, I'm going to find something that I can use uh, that's free to share, use, share, or modify even commercially. Yeah, because I want to make sure I can find something that is okay to use. And how about? Oh, what kind of which guitar should I use? Oh, this one. Oh, that one's really huge. How about this image right here looks nice. How about we pick this one? Okay, let's go for that. And yeah, that looks good. Let's view that original image. Yeah, I love that. Okay, I'm going to save that image as, you know, mm, guitar. I'm just going to go ahead and save it on my desktop. That's good. I'm saving that. Okay, excellent. I've got a little image. Let's go ahead and upload that image. Let's go to my desktop here. There's guitar. Now, Let's upload that, and there we go. We probably want, we do want to add some alt text here, so um, we'll just say electric guitar. Good enough. Okay, so I've got a title. I have some tags. Okay, that sort of just generally describe the content of this particular article. Uh, there's my 
my splendidly written article and here's an image to go along with that. So let's go ahead and hit save. And so now I'm going to close this so we get maximum screen. Hey, there we go. Okay, so let's look at this. We notice a few differences. Well, what, first of all, this is the same. Drupal is, you know, communicating to us, hey, this has been created. So thank you for confirming that, Drupal. Um, so this looks familiar, right? We've got Welcome Jane Smith, our new guitarist. So the title is there. Um, there's a few differences. Submitted by RoboBunny Attack on Tuesday, the date and the time. This is different. We didn't have this on the About Us page, if you remember correctly. Um, and that's because they assumed that because about because static pages are because basic pages are just static content they they assume that you don't want to communicate you don't want to tell the world who wrote that content whereas when you're talking about news articles blog posts the the general um convention is is that you do have sort of a byline or somebody you know that you you've got credits you want to know who posted that so you know maybe this is the drummer who posted like a note about Jane Smith welcoming or whatever you know now this is the default behavior you can change this and I'm in different screencasts going to show you how you can change all this default behavior everything I'm talking about today is the default behavior for articles uh, but bear in mind all of this can be changed here's our image and we see that it even though my original image was way bigger this um, this resized it, Drupal resized it to sort of this medium size. And again, we can control that behavior. This is just the default, okay? And it's also located at the top, and then your article is underneath, the text is underneath. Again, all default behavior that we can change in the future. Here's my article, okay? And then we see a few things here. We see tags, band news, Jane Smith, guitar. And this is new too. We have the ability to add a new content. Okay, or, or sorry, content, comment. <laughs> we have the ability to add a new comment. Why didn't we have that for basic pages? You know, we didn't have the ability to add comments to basic pages. Well, that's actually, that's sort of a web convention, isn't it? Most of the time when you're talking about static content on web pages, there aren't, there aren't comment boxes, there aren't comment fields for that. But then if you're talking about news items or blog posts or opinion pieces, there's usually the ability to comment. Now, that's not always the case and yes, you can change that. But this is the default in Drupal, okay? So we see this. Um, last thing I want to point out to you before we move on, let's actually go to the home button here. I just went to, to the home button by clicking there. I could have just as easily clicked on the home button up here. And we see something new now, don't we? Right, we're on the front page. Remember, if you, if you remember correctly, when we created the basic page, we went back to our home page and we couldn't find our basic page. And I had explained at the time that that's because we hadn't set up the navigation. Well, here we actually see the article for like for the published on the front page. And what does that mean? It's because by default in Drupal, all new articles are published on the front page. That is the default behavior. Okay. Yes, you can change that. And in a lot of times you might want to change that. But for now, Drupal assumes that anytime you publish something new, it's going to get, or when every time you publish a new article, a new time sensitive piece of content, you're going to want to feature that on the front page. And if I went ahead and created another article okay in fact let's go ahead and do that right now I'll click article and let's say let's put a tour diary update update in here tour diary update Winnipeg rocks okay and let's say tour touring and then Winnipeg there we go and let's just add a little bit of content in here come on Laura Mipsum generator there we go Let's just add there. That's good. Um, I'm not going to bother adding an image. You don't have to add an image, by the way. I'm just going to put that there. Let's go ahead and hit save. And there's our, our tour diary entry. I'm going to go to the front page again. Notice I clicked on that. That brings us back. Okay, so here, look at that. Tour diary update shows up at the top. Jane Smith, the Jane Smith article is below here. And what happens you probably can guess is it will publish things to your front page in reverse chronological order so the latest the newest news item shows up at the top and then everything else appears below in reverse chronological order and that's probably what what you expect um, finally um, you probably notice that if we click through on this right this this looks different than what was actually on the front page right and that's because this is not actually 
uh, the full article. This is what we call in Drupal, we call this a teaser. Um, and the teaser by default, and again, you guessed it, you can change all this. By default, the teaser contains a few things. It contains the title, okay? It's in a slightly different font. And again, all these style things you can change later, but let's just focus on the content. It contains the title. It contains your, your sort of your credit or your byline here, okay? And it contains usually the first sentence or the first paragraph of your content, okay? If we actually cl click through here, we'll see that the See, it just included the first paragraph, okay? Um, you can change that. It includes your tags. It does include the tags. Again, you can change that. And then you get a little read more uh, link. And by you can click on either the read more link or you can cl click on the, um, the page title and it brings you to the article. Let's actually do it down here. Click on read more. Brings us to our Jane Smith article here, okay? And yes, in case you didn't notice, it was definitely possible to comment on this so you know all the fans in Winnipeg can go well your concert is awesome thank you so much for coming blah 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 blah. okay um so I hope that I'm going to leave it right there because that was a lot of stuff um pretty straightforward but I recommend that you practice do a couple articles do a couple basic pages you know practice adding that content let's actually see the content that we have so far we click on the content button for that and we see hey look we've got three pieces of content right now we've got one basic page we've got two articles we're well on our way to building a cool website um I'm going to leave it at that for now I hope that that was helpful thank you very very much for watching and I'll see you next time